and let us all that we can to build a better future. So I said, like I said, this is going to be one of the s- stupidest, sort of funniest, really just pathetic. Like we talked about the Nevada story just a minute ago about how it's pathetic that the Democrats just took all the money from the account. This is higher up in my book because, again, Republicans are supposed to stab you in the face. This is a backstabbing move. Mm-hmm. It's just pathetic. So I'm calling this Kentucky State Senate of Snowflakes trying to make it illegal to be road, rude to snowflake police. And that's what this is all about. So it could be a crime to taunt a police officer in Kentucky under a bill that passed the state Senate on Thursday. The measure was filled months after Louisville, the state's largest city, became the site of a of huge protest in the wake of the police killing of Breonna Taylor, which, yeah. Uh, the bill passed the Republican-dominated Senate 22 to 11 and now waits House input under the legislation. Anyone who accosts, insults, taunts or challenges like, hey, can you stop breaking the law challenge a law enforcement officer with offensive or derisive words? This is literally like to all the people that are like yelling about free speech being blocked. Well, I like to see your ire this way. Anyway, or by gesture, so flipping off a cop effectively, to provoke a violent response, which is sort of pathetic because that's like, can you imagine if that standard was set for like teachers in like elementary school? If like a kid like set, like flipped you off, you could just punch him? Yeah, yeah no. Well, yeah. Hang on, I'm going to have my comments for yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Would result in, uh, res- be guilty of a misdemeanor and face up to 90, day in, in 90 days in jail and fines. The proposal also increases penalties for rioting. For instance, those charged with rioting would be required to be held for a minimum of 48 hours. Another provision would criminalize aiming a light, a laser pointer, an activated horn, or no- noise-making device towards the head of a first responder, which I guess you could probably say yelling would count as that as well. But police get to shoot you with rubber bullets, so it's okay. At point blank range, they get to break your bones, they get to throw you on concrete, but you can't use a light. Too, that's too much. They can't handle it. They're working too hard. These guys in body armor and then the ones with guns, they just can't handle you yelling at them as public officers. <laughs> Such snowflakes. Democratic lawmakers warned that the proposal could be used to unfairly target peaceful protesters. You don't say. That's Captain Obvious moving right there. Look at that. State Senator uh, Gerald Neal, a Democrat who represents Louisville, called the, dem- the legislation unnecessary, unreasonable. I would call it pathetic, snowflakey, useless. It's really just there to be authoritarian. Now, if, if it's like there's, it just gets me because there's so many Republican lawmakers followers that are just up in arms every day. I see them on Twitter. I see them everywhere. Free speech, free speech, free speech, free speech. And you got to be pla- principled about it. You're going to be talking about it. That free speech doesn't apply to. You, YouTube is not a free speech zone. If you're clever enough, you, you figure that out. Same with Twitter. Not a free speech zone. It's a private company. That's the way the, com- the country is run. That's the way it works. Ta-da. So now... And I remember everyone who said anything, oh, stopping, you're all snowflakes. No, these are snowflakes. This is the definition of a snowflake. When you open up the dictionary and you look up the word snowflake, this entire legislature should be the picture. It is mm. absolutely pathetic that you're, oh, the cops that we give our, all our money, half of our budget to, all of the guns to, we give them support. You can't, they can shoot you and they're not road. They've qualified immunity, but they can't stand it when you flick them off. What are they going to do? How are they going to go home to my with their wife and kids and tell them I was flipped off? And they can't handle it mentally, but it's fine if they beat your brains in. It's fine if they shoot you. It's fine if they bust into the wrong apartment and kill someone. It's fine if they flashbang babies. It's fine if they do anything of that nature. You don't need any more defense against them what they need is a defense against you and your vicious violent words i think we can just use aoc's definition since uh they seem to be in line all right look um i can't believe that this actually happened uh but then again we live in the united states where we have such i guess thin-skinned individuals and look you know i think it's really easy for all those who say, well, you, you know, you got to be tough. You got to take it out. But then as soon as people are being critical, like they got some thin skin themselves. Um, what, you know, what, what, you know what the fallout of this is that I could see other states trying mm-hmm. to repeat this 
very soon. And this is going to be immediately and, challenged by court. Yeah, and it has to be challenged by court because, look, all right, so the Kentucky State Senate is basically trying to make it illegal to be rude to a police officer. So that police officer can twist any scenario with their body cam because they have the option of turning it on and off and say, well, this person was being rude to me, so by law, you're not a bad guy. You get to go behind bars. And we've, we've seen this play out time and time again. And look at how many nonviolent drug offenders have been put behind bars yeah. uh, for crimes that they did not do because of false evidence that was put on them. People and forget that. By the that. way, I just also want to point out, when police shoot you, what we've seen in like New York, they literally leave your bleeding head on the ground. Or and so remember that one time it was it was here in Illinois that cop killed himself, but called oh oh no 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 yeah it was oh you're talking about um, uh, GI Joe yes uh, that yeah was him. The, well that's that's his nickname yeah. um but it, you know he had a, he had a last name George he got something. he was corrupt and was taking money was about to be caught. So then he shot himself and pretended that people were shooting him. Wait. And they just went nuts wait, attacking wait, people. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. It's all coming back to me. So what happened was uh, this cop who also served in the army, but then like did, did some time, uh, then served in the police force, wasn't in the Chicago area, was in one of the outer yeah, towns. Yeah, he was in the, yeah. Uh, um, I, I, again, forgetting what town yeah, it was. It was a yeah, but, small town. But he did have like a summer use program stuff, uh, program for, for, for like ch children. And he was stealing money from it, but he was also stealing from, I believe, the police force as yes. well. And uh, he also, um, oh, yeah, he, he, he was doing some real shady stuff and eventually he was going to get caught. In fact, he put a hit out on a woman that was doing a, um, what's it called? Uh, uh, a piece? No, no, not, 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 not a piece. It's, um, what, what, remember, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm getting seen on. We have so many stories of no, no, doing this. Yeah, no, 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 it's, uh, I think, um, what, 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 what do you call it when, when you, an inventory, but, but it's, uh. Oh, she was the accounting for inventory. Yeah, something like that. So, an accountant. Yeah, there, 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 there. Yeah, she was, she was trying to um get, get so, the record straight for for, yeah. for the for the um a budget oh, an auditor. Yeah, she was auditing the uh, police force, that was it. and he was going to put a hit out on her, and he got in contact with somebody, but that contact was a police informant himself, right? And he told the police like, "Hey, this is what's going on." Yeah, he was an informant for the FBI, and he, and and he and he kind of realized that they were on him, and what he did was. He did this simple, uh, simple uh, morning routine. He got in his car. He drove to this abandoned area. Said that he saw three suspicious individuals: and he was going two, after two, them. two, two white men and one black man. Mm -hmm. And he said that he was engaged in a firefight. But it looked mm -hmm. like just as how he did it. You know, it, it was, of course, in the heat of the moment. But he shot himself. And uh, when uh, the, there, was, there was a huge investigation, this is before Trump oh, got immediately into office. they went on manhunt and yeah. started like uh, and and three people, three life. three three people were arrested: yeah. two white men and one black yeah. man. But the thing yeah. is, as soon as the cops were putting together a story, one of the white men had like a debilitating injury or something, mm -hmm. and where he could not have fired a weapon at all or even overpower. And the that other guy that didn't help when they were arresting him. Yeah, yeah, and 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 I believe the African American gentleman was uh he didn't even know those two guys at all like yeah. he was he was just getting done fishing i believe yeah and well, when that's, the corner, I mean, that's, that's obviously and, and, criminal and, and, activity and and, and and when the coroner was uh you know doing his autopsy on this on this cop that committed suicide uh he was saying like uh you know it, this doesn't look like a murder i think he killed himself and he was getting pushed back this yeah. is at the height of or the beginning of the blue lives matter yeah. kind of thing these are blue yeah. lives matter so much that they'll kill themselves but it's like that be but you know what this guy really needed you know yeah. change that guy's life if um someone hadn't flipped him off that would have made all the difference and that's yeah. what this kentucky law is yeah about. yeah i know sorry it was story time with kid and oh by the way before it, it all fell apart though before it was finally revealed that he did commit suicide again this different story than the story daniel's covering um uh he had like an american pharaoh kind of funeral yes. like 1000 cops showed up yes the firefighters oh, were, were so did, garish did, did, did. yeah they, it was it, and, and it's on youtube i think still and it, it, it was everyone showed up there was like and there this, was one guy that was uh playing f the police as it was happening was that we're imagining another i think case. i think you're imagining that because i don't I know think it, like like no one like i know like, a police funeral that happened too and they like tried to break into the guy's house he's like we don't like this we're snowflakes yeah uh no no no, no. D d i think you're thinking of a different story but yeah he was given this huge uh um and, and but, but see his wife also knew about his illegal activities too yeah and so then they got this whole big care package and then she had to give it back but that's the thing it's like when you're a person and you're innocent, you have to, you can't do anything if they're arresting you because that's their, by law, the power that they have that even if you're right, 
even if they have no legal reason to arrest you. Thank it you. It doesn't matter. Thank you, Lawrence. You have Jones. to do it. But yeah. if you oh, use words and that make them uncomfortable, yeah, you're the problem. Uh, uh, Lawrence Johnson, Fox Lake Police Lieutenant Joe Glenowitz. That's his uh, name. And I believe that his uh, funeral is still up on YouTube. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, story time with Kit, and we I took over that. St- sorry, Dan. I didn't it's mean to take over that it's, story. It's a, it's a really <laughs> pathetic story by <laughs> pathetic people trying to defend pathetic officers. Yeah. If you have, you have, there has to be a balance. You can't be able to shoot whoever you want. You can't have a giant funeral procession like that for killing yourself because everyone immediately assumes you're telling the truth. Well, you will never do the same in the other direction. I don't think I've ever seen the police put in the costs for uh, burying someone with that sort of a send off when they do it. I hate the hypocrisy. I despise it. And I despise that Republicans talking points when they're elected is free speech. The liberals don't know what free speech is. Blah, 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 blah. Yet they are the biggest proponents of snowflakeism out there. Right. All right. We are now going to move on to our next story. Before we do, I just want to acknowledge everyone that's joining us here in the live stream chat. Again, we are so grateful for all the support that we are getting. And I will say, if when this gets challenged in court and when, if they do pass it, Mm -hmm. and when it does finish, I want everyone, all our viewers in Kentucky, to just flip off every cop that drives by to remind them to stay in line. Yeah, exactly. Also be on camera just in case. Yeah. Live stream. (laughs) 